a Plaguelands Media production. <laughs> hey everyone, this is Hugh from Plaguelands Media bringing you another book review today. And this is one that I have been wanting to do for a long, long time now. And I'm finally glad I got around to it. And that is... Swords and Deviltry by Fritz Lieber. Now, those of you who don't know who Fritz Lieber is, he is a fantasy uh, author who basically created two of the best characters in fantasy fiction, Farfed and the Grey Mauser. The importance of Fritz Lieber cannot be understated. He basically is the guy that created the term sword and sorcery which we use to describe uh, like the works of Robert E. Howard. A lot of his um, themes and inspiration comes from H.P. Lovecraft, uh, Edgar Allan Poe, a little bit of Seabury Quinn thrown in there for, for good measure. Now this is uh, book one. There are a number of collections. This is basically three novellas. Uh, in one, I do have somewhere, which I'm not seeing right now, so whatever, doesn't matter. Um, books two and three, and I'm trying to get my hands on four and five as we speak. So, who the hell is, is Farfed and the Grey Mauser? Farfed is a barbarian. Uh, he comes from the north. Similar, I guess you could say, to Conan of Sumeria but um, he's very romantic and well-spoken and not at all like a typical barbarian in as much as he wants to experience as much of the world as possible. The Grey Mauser is a wizard's apprentice who uh, kind of dabbles. There's two types of magic. There's light magic and or white magic and black magic, and then he's kind of in the middle. That's why he's the Grey Mauser. Swords and Deviltry introduces these characters, not only to us, but to each other. So I'm just going to get straight into a spoiler-free review, give or take, of Swords and Deviltry by Fritz Lieber. So let's go right into the next episode of... Read a fucking book. 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 People. Okay, let's get right into it. This collection starts with um, a story called Induction. It's very short. Uh, it was basically printed in uh, 1957, I believe. That just introduces us to the world of Naewon and the characters and the city of Lankmar, which is going to play a big part in um, the Farfit and the Grey Mauser story collection. So big a part that TSR, in fact, had an entire setting for Dungeons and Dragons based in Lankmar. Now, it wasn't something that I ever got into. Back in the day, I was more interested in... Uh, Forgotten Realms and Dragonlance and Ravenloft and Planescape and Dark Sun and I wasn't familiar with Fritz Lieber at the time. Pissed off. I would really love to get my hands on the original Dungeons and Dragons Lankmar collection. Lankmar being this uh, enormous city in the in the world of Naewon. But so we start with induction and then we move in to the first novella called The Snow Women. Now, The Snow Women is basically about Farfid, who he is, where he lived, and uh, this kind of uh, traveling fair has come to his village. Uh, the village is a matriarchal society. The women kind of don't like... One moment. I'm going to shut the door so you don't hear my cat doing this shit. Uh, the women don't like that the men ogle the um, 
dancers at the fair. They, they pretty much, it's like a sexy dancing show. Farfid has gotten this um, woman pregnant, not uh, a woman from the village, not from the, from the fair. And uh, he's also in love with one of the dancers who has been promised the, the owner of this, this traveling merchant fair thing is going to sell her to one of the men of the village. But Farfit is in love with her and helps her escape. Um, and that is how he basically leaves the village and goes on his merry journey. The next story, The Unholy Grail, is about the Mauser. The Mauser has been on a quest for his master. He's an apprentice wizard and his master has sent him off on this quest. Um, the, ma the, his master is also teaching a young lady magic, but the lady's father, who is the kind of lord of the, of the land, hates magic, discovers this, and when the Grey Mauser, who's just known as Mauser, gets back to his master, he finds that his master is dead, has been murdered by this lord, so he goes off seeking revenge, and at first he blames the girl, the, the uh, Lord's daughter, for luring them to the master, but ultimately comes to reconcile with her while kind of plotting out his revenge against this guy um, using magic uh, to do so. So that is the second story. Then we have the third story, Ill met in Lankmar. So we have now come to Lankmar. Farfid is there with um, his lady, the, the woman he rescued from the fair. And she plans to basically destroy the Thieves Guild in Lankmar. And Farfid says he's going to help. The Grey Mauser with uh, his lady, who was the, the daughter of the Lord that killed his master, is also in Lankmar. And during a heist of the Thieves' Guild's possessions, Farfit and the Grey Mauser meet. And thus, the two ladies also meet, and Farfit and the Grey Mauser come up with this scheme to take down the Thieves' Guild. Um, in the interim, the ladies are killed. Farfid and the Grey Mauser kind of do their thing and decide there's nothing left for us here and we are going to leave Lankmar and go on adventures. And that is basically um, Swords and Deviltry. There's a lot here that I didn't talk about because in all honesty, you really need to read these stories for yourself to pick up the nuances, not only of Fritz Lieber's writing, but the characters of Farfid and the Grey Mauser uh, at the same time, as well as how the world works, which if you go back and read the Conan stories, it not just the Robert E. Howard ones, I'm talking the ones by Robert Jordan and all of the other authors that have kind of written in, in the Conan universe, you get that Hyperborea is this lush, lavish world where magic works different, the worlds are different, the the countries where people come from are all different, and it's the same in Nawan, it's the same in Lankmar, and it's the same with Fritz Lieber's work, and I cannot tell you how much I'm looking forward to reading the rest of the Farfin and Grey Mauser series, and of course bringing them to you, but I do not want to spoil them. Swords and Deviltry, Go out, get it, read it. You'll know straight away if you're going to love it or hate it. My guess is you're going to fucking love it as much as I did. So there you go. This has been another Read a Fucking Book, people. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification bell, have a drink. But most importantly, stay safe. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I urge any lovers of not just fantasy fiction, but fantasy film, to go and explore this sword and sorcery genre. There are a ton of writers out there that are writing fantasy books. 
and they're they're great. Hey, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. If that's what you want to read, that's what you want to read. Look at where it started. Go back and look at the old B grade films like Deathstalker, Hawk the Slayer. Heck, Conan the Bar the Conan the Barbarian is on Disney Plus as we speak. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. Go and read the stories of Robert E. Howard. Go and check out Weird Tales if you can get your copy of Weird Tales stories. Please. This is a genre that should not die. And thanks to people bringing it to the forefront, people that are going back and exploring this stuff, it's going to stay around for a long, long time. Sword and Sorcery. Fritz Lieber came up with the term, but it's been around for years. Go and enjoy it. But you know what? Just go and read a fucking book, people.